Today we are going to get to know your soundboard a little bit better. We're going to be focusing on just a few areas on the soundboard to help you get to know your own soundboard a little better. Yours might look a little different than this, but hopefully you'll have some of the same switches as this one so you'll know what to do. First we're going to look at the power button and controls on this side of the board as well as individual controls for each microphone and the volume below. First you have your power station that tells you where your volume is at and if it's getting too overloaded. And if something happens you can always use the phantom power button which turns everything off but not completely so this is a good button in case something happens and you just need to turn everything off really quickly you can do this one as well there's a button for the main power on the side of your soundboard these lights down here tell you where the normal volume of your microphones should be so if it's in the green you're good if it gets too close to the red it means just it's just a little bit too loud for your microphones and can get overloaded. And the knob at the bottom controls the balance between the left and the right of your main volume. So if you have a pretty balanced sound on both sides, then you can keep it near the center. But if one side is louder than the other, you can use this knob to balance that out. And here's the main volume for all of the microphones. But you want somewhere around unity again it depends on the sound of your group if one side is louder than the other you'll have it lower than the other side but unity is usually the place you want to focus on and then when you're getting into a little bit of effects in your sound you will use this knob here so you can have all different kinds of effect with certain delays or if you want it to sound more like they're in a cathedral or anything like that, you can play around with these settings on your soundboard. And one really helpful button on this is the brake switch, which is kind of like the phantom power button, but really it just mutes all of the microphone channels and nothing else. So if you don't want any of your singers to be heard or any of the microphones for your band or group, then you can hit the brake switch and it'll mute all of them at once. Next, you have each individual microphone, which can be found at this part of your soundboard. And you'll have the volume at the bottom. Again, this controls each individual microphone and not all of the microphones like on the main power that we were looking at previously. So if these volumes are not up, that might be why you can't hear a certain microphone coming through. And you want, again, to keep it at unity, mainly if it has is a balanced sound coming into that microphone. The main knob at the top you can use to balance the brighter or the darker sounds coming through the microphone. Turning it this direction emphasizes more of the brighter sounds and if you turn it this direction it emphasizes more of the darker sounds coming into the microphone. Next you have your main in and out power cables connecting to your speakers and monitors as well as where you plug in for your microphones. The main out is where you would plug your, mic your monitors in here connecting to the monitors themselves. And this is another attachment that you should have to your monitors. This is where each individual microphone will plug into to go through your speakers and monitors. 
and that is a little bit about getting to know your soundboard. Hopefully this was helpful in getting to know your own soundboard that you're working with.